Hey guys, this is Mike here for a quick tutorial about motion page and the CSS variables. So I was checking this website and I saw this really cool uh, gradient effect made with a repeating conic gradient function, something I didn't even know about before and uh, I wanted to try to do some animation with it. So let's do that right now. First, let's copy the code. We have a CSS here and we add it right here and add the class here okay so we have the gradient here to animate it we have to use the css variables so we need to create them we need to understand how it works first and add and replace the number here the degree the angle actually by the variable so let's create the variable angle one so leg it will be our first variable here angle one for the second one we do some little calculation so angle two calc variable angle one plus 50 degree let's replace it right here variable angle 2 and right there variable angle 2 and for the last one which is the same as this one angle 3 and we add 30 degree let's change that right here so all our number here are replaced by variable okay let's try that to see if it works now by changing this variable only it should change the angle of the, the gradient effect here now let's try that if i add 10 okay 20 okay 5 or whatever it's working so with motion page we will use this css variable to do our animation there. So let's remember we have the class element and we need to change angle one. Let's go to motion page, reload the page. Okay, we can see it here. Let's start the animation. Element is our class and we use a custom property here. Angle one 30 for 30 degree and it's moving working totally fine here so it's, for this kind of animation we can do a repeat here and change the is linear and that's it it's how to use a css variable with motion page if you check in the front end we have it here we can add uh, more options with it. Let's go back here. Expand, okay. So we can change the origin. If I remember, it should be like this. From zero at 50%, 50%. And then right here we can change. So if I put 20, it will be there, as you can see. If I put actually zero, zero, the origin will be there. Let's save that. Let's try. Okay. So we are going to add more variable. Position Y, 50%, and position, uh, position X and position Y. 50%. We replace them right here by the variable. So y variable position position x and position y. Okay, so now we have two variables and we can play with them too. Let's save and go back to motion page. Okay. 
go back to the beginning. Let's add a new node. We use the same here and we go to our custom position X and 50% uh, from position X, 25%. And let's try that. Okay, so we can move it too. We can move almost everything and I'll have a little fun with it. So about uh, doing some animation, uh, repeating animation two here, minus one, uh, if I play it here. That's right, it's not from its two. Okay, repeat, minus one here. The yo yo effect. Let's add uh, change the easing. Add is sin dot if I remember is like this. Okay, we can even uh, duplicate that one. Let's move it here. Move it there and change the Y position. Same here, Y. And let's do like this. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, it's not the best effect in the world, but at least it's a good example to show how to use a variable and animate almost everything in CSS with motion page. So that's it for today. See you guys.